I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Yeah. I don't know how that all of a sudden became my intro, but like that is literally my intro. Like whenever I first start talking, every single video for some weird reason, I just started saying yeah, and then it just kind of became a thing, and now it's now it's my life. Anyways, what's going on, guys? So I want to talk quickly about EOC just for a quick little second. Um, a few days ago, Jax updated God Wars Dungeon finally, where uh, basically you can pick your own instance world, uh, which basically means you can have your own boss for you. Basically meaning. Uh, Let's just say you guys go to Cal Fight Queen on 07 servers. You can go into your own room where there's a Cal Fight Queen and you pay uh, 200k GP for every hour. Though for 07 money, that'd be very expensive. I don't think it'd be that much. But um, yeah, they added that recently to uh, to EOC, which I've always uh, kind of thought things like that would be a very smart idea. I never thought about obviously you know making a payment though for the whole room, which completely makes sense. But yeah, things like Banos boss and Armadale boss were always busy no matter what, um, no matter how many times you hopped, especially Banos because it's such a typical boss that everyone does. Um, so people, well I guess Jax, I'm not sure if people suggested it, but you know, Jax an update where you can basically like rent out a room, I guess you can call it. Um, you can also bring friends there and you guys can like share the, you know, fee, I guess if you want. Um, basically you just have the boss for an hour and I, I, don't know, I guess if the hour is done it asks you if you want to renew it or some crap but yeah that's a great money sink that they finally have brought into the game I just realized how great that actually can be because um, a lot of EOC I believe are mostly PVMers I would say because I mean it's either skilling or PVMing I'm pretty sure skilling or PKing on there is dead I don't really see why it would be uh, very much PKing on there if there's like 07 here and PKing there is kind of odd uh, I don't, maybe, maybe there is still PKing I have no idea I, I haven't logged on since uh, 07 came out but yeah, it's a very cool idea. I think Drax has actually brought that into the game. It does sink a little bit of money out of the game. It's nothing compared to how much comes into the game, but at least it's something. I wish they would do that a lot more. I wish they would do that in like Cal Fight Queen or Cal Fight King, but obviously you can't really do that now because it's been free for the whole time. You can't just start charging people for no reason. Um, but yeah. See, updates like that I really like because, I mean, you benefit from it, and at the same time, uh, money is getting sunk out of the game. The only bad thing about it is that... Uh, I believe Jax promised like new Gawars dungeon items like for each boss if you go on there's like these modes you can pick it's like hard and easy and medium and stuff like that and most of you guys know Gawars dungeon are because 07 uh, a little bit a little bit later on in 07 I believe Gawars dungeon did come out so it's not like I'm talking about some random completely weird thing I mean Cal Fight King probably makes sense to some of you guys because there's Cal Fight Queen yeah a few years later they made a king woohoo he's fucking her but yeah, I, think, I don't think they have any new items yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure what they said that they're going to promise that there will be some, but um, I guess maybe not on the first week of the update. Maybe they're just going to think about a few items. I don't really know what they can add. Like, any items they add right now will not... Like, no one's going to use them. Like, let's just be real. Like, there's POP armor, and then, like, an armor on EOC hardly even matters anymore because, like, it's... You don't really get a hit. I mean, now, actually, I've heard uh, recently... Misclicked a lot there. Um... From my, what my friend said is that they actually nerfed like all the armors as well in that game. It's a little bit you get hit a lot more. Um, she said she went to Armadal Boss and she literally uh, she like she lost about four thousand life points or some shit just killing it, which was like a quarter of her HP or half of it or whatever. Um, and that used to never happen. You used to go to Armadal Boss and not need a single bit of food. Um, you just kind of brought Demon Horn necklace, which apparently doesn't work that well anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on, but yeah. So I guess this update might crash the items a little bit, like bandos and armadillo armors. But then again, like, I mean, how often do people really use all these armors anymore? Anyways, I mean, black dehyde's like probably just as good as armadillo now. I mean, I could slay in like full rune probably on ELC, and I wouldn't have noticed the difference between bandos and rune because it's it's kind of weird now. But yeah, I wonder if they ever like. I mean, I hope one day they do bring Gawar's Dungeon to this server because we are going to need some type of update in the future to keep people wanting to play it. Um, because updates, I mean, their updates aren't always bad, but the way Jax does them, yeah, they mostly are always bad. Uh, but, I mean, you can make an update a good update. You don't have to make it shit. Just make sure that everyone agrees on it, and then they won't really ruin the game in any way. But, um, yeah, hopefully one day they do bring Gawar's Dungeon in the future, just not anytime soon, hopefully. Uh, maybe, maybe at the end of the year, even, maybe for, like, I wouldn't mind if, like, during Christmas time they kind of brought Gawar's Dungeon. I think it'd be kind of a, a great time to bring it. Everyone's on break. Uh, people can know life and stuff like that, but I wonder if they were to bring instance basically for this game as well For something like ours and if they do bring it so if you want you can go to like your own special area You can solo the boss if you want if you want to attempt that right because it's impossible to get like, I mean especially with how many worlds we have on 07 servers every single world will be busy um, You still can go to a normal world and just kill it without paying but I mean if, if it's too busy and you just want your own 
Did I not empty one of these? What the fuck? I totally... Did I examine that? I probably did. But anyways, uh, yeah, you can obviously just go and kill them in any world you want. But if you want just one to yourself, you don't have to worry about hopping and stuff like that or getting crashed. Uh, you just pay a little money. Now, it won't be 200k maybe, but by the time it hits December, I think 200k GP will probably be nothing anymore. So I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of a cool update. I think that'd be a great money sink. Not to mention, when I actually think about it, God Wars Dungeon would be an amazing item sink. Because the amount of people that are going to die at God Wars Dungeon... And this guy has a fire cape on. I don't know. Oh. You're a faggot for PKing room crafters, you faggot. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I just don't have any respect for room craft PKers. I just, I mean, you're supposed to PK because it's fun and like you're, uh, I just have no respect for them. It's like, let's just say you work at McDonald's and you have to go clean the tables. What if I kept spitting on the tables and dumping my food on it every, ooh, I just got 73 magic. Every single time you clean the table, I went right back on it and took a shit on it. And you gotta go back and clean it, right? Ain't fucking fun. You're trying to do your job and someone's affecting you and pissing you off. That's exactly what freaking PKers are when you're trying to runecraft. I got 73 magic just from doing this shit. I haven't trained magic since level 69, so I got four magic levels from just teleporting to the bank. That's pretty hot. But yeah, as I was saying, God Wars Dungeon is going to bring a lot of item sync, I believe, because people are going to go there and die, and like, there's no graves and shit, so uh, I guess if you do choose Instance World, um, no one's going to loot your shit, because, I mean, like, no one can go in there, right? So, I mean, that would be kind of a cool thing if it... What the fuck? Did I just fill you up? What? I See, I can never record and runecraft properly the same... What the fuck happened to my pure ass? I... I fucking emptied your white ass, like, 300 fucking times. As I believe I'm quite close to 79 runecrafting for now, which means I will have three levels to go before I start doubling my Asher runes, which is freaking awesome. Just imagine all the all the Asher runes I have in my bank right now would be doubled if I just had 82 runecraft the whole time. So that will be a very nice milestone to hopefully reach soon. And then I guess I can start making some money once I start doubling. Right now I'm not really making anything I don't think doing this because, I mean, I don't know, Asher runes are like 130 each, pure S. So I make about 90 GP per but I also spend a lot on energy potions. Oh, one last thing. I'm not sure if they fixed this yet or not, but when they did that update to God Wars Dungeon, they also... Jax did some weird update to white boots, which you guys get from like those knights or whatever it is. You do the little quest, so I think it's wanted to wear it. Um, these white boots gave you 75 prayer bonus, and I think my friend was wearing nothing but white boots for about... well, for the whole time. And she put turmoil prayer on, which strains a little bit slower than piety, I believe. And she went from max prayer bonus, like 99, to like 80 basically in like 10 minutes of having piety on, or turmoil, whatever. So I don't know if that was a glitch or not, but they had like 75 prayer bonus the first day. Um, I'm hoping they fix that, because it's kind of very odd, because then I guess Steadfast Boots go to shit now, and there goes killing Glacors for money, and that, that you're just getting rid of content for no reason if you do that shit. But yeah, hopefully that was just a glitch and they fixed that, because I, I, how the fuck the white boots give you 75 prayer bonus? Like... What about the black boots, huh, Jax? You fucking give them 75 prayer bonus too, or are they gonna be freaking like negative prayer bonus or some shit? Racist motherfuckers. How long till my freaking farm run? Oh god, this is. Ooh, like 10 minutes or so. Woot! So ever since I started my farm run, in an hour and three minutes, since I. So probably about less than an hour or so, I've done this many Astro Runes, plus all the times I ran and made Nature Runes, which is probably. I don't know how often you have to fix your giant pouch, but I think I ran there at least like five or six times, so that's about 200 to 300 ish nature runes. And I've also used at least probably about 200 astro runes from just teleporting back and forth, or almost 200, probably like at least 70 or so, so that's pretty good. Man, my mom just called me, freaking interrupt my video. I should make my answer machine. Uh, call me later, I'm making a video right now, bitch. Well, I wouldn't say bitch, because then, like, if someone that I know calls me, like my mom, that kind of like me calling her. No, that's not what I meant, okay, when I said that. I just meant like, if one of my friends was calling me, it's like, I'm making a video, bitch, call me later. It's like, <laughs> Anyways, for now, guys, I'm going to continue watching Dexter for a little bit. I am at season three. Oh, man. Rita, man. She freaking good. I, uh, I am at season three, episode 10, I believe, uh, where that freaking Indian guy, whatever, did, what's his name? Forget. Ramon? Is that his name? No, that's, that was like his brother's. But anyways, um... Yeah, Dexter for the win. This shit's keeping me sane doing room crafting. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, leave me guys your opinion on if you guys would. I mean, if you guys if you guys do want Gowers, I should come back. But would you guys also want it to be instant? So it would be a little bit of a money sink. And I guess if you die, it'd be an item sink as well. Because trust me, Gowers Dungeon will be so fucking packed on this server if we don't get more worlds. Like there's. I mean, a good amount of players still, obviously. And we've got like, I think 78 worlds in total, which. 
I don't know if that's really enough. I haven't looked at how many people log on each day, but like, let's just say we have 40,000 people online on like the weekend or so. There's freaking 78 worlds. There's like four people at each world at Bandos boss. Trust me, there's more than freaking, you know, 400 people on the server that's going to want to do Bandos. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of crashing going on and this and that. And I think for me, I'd rather just pay for a room if I were to go there, but um, I guess it's more up to the community. But anyways, I mean, they've already got the update in the game, so it's not like it's a lot of work or anything. Um, and it's already like there and no one's really bitching about it. So, yeah, it'd be okay. But anyways, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next video. Just call me again. Okay, bye-bye. What the hell? You already broke again? How do you dec you decay like every fucking you decay more than Abdul's mom's? Aunt.